scanning for audio. Welcome to a Tin Dog Podcast. This time I'm going to be discussing, well, countermeasures from Big Finish. Now, countermeasures is pretty damn cool, but it's for individual stories, and rather than rush through all four of them in one thing, I'd like to discuss and savour each one individually. So what is countermeasures? Well, set firmly after Remembrance of the Daleks, it's got the best pedigree going. Remembrance of the Daleks was, for a lot of people, the highlight of the Seventh Doctor's time. Yes, I know everyone will go on about the Happiness Patrol or some other sort of nonsense, and, or even Ghostlight. <laughs> Hell, I've been responsible for that sort of thing, but for sheer enjoyment, you've got to go with Remembrance. It's just, well, a rollicking run. Yes, it's got references to Quatermass and that kind of thing, so it's got a pretty good pedigree. It's a unit story without unit. Now, as Unit now belongs to the BBC, Big Finish have kind of lost any attachment to it. So what do they do? They go back to the drawing board and they reintroduce us with something that's pre-Unit. The RAF's own branch, run by Chunky Gilmore. Because let's face it, we can't actually have anything with, well, the brig in it anymore, can we? It's really rather clever what they've done. Because these stories are set firmly in, say, 1964... The fiction of the time, the television that we're so familiar with through repeats and DVDs, has been influenced, has been taken from and added to the mix. Not just Doctor Who, but Quatermass. Yes, that's fair enough, Quatermass and Doctor Who have been close buddies for some time. But the Avengers, ah yes. Now nobody makes, I, as far as I was aware, Avengers audio, except of course I have since been emailed and been told that somebody in fact does make Avengers audios and they are available to be tracked down. It's not Big Finish. Big Finish don't have the rights. Like I said, they can't make unit stories. You can't make Avengers. Do watch. Well, it's a 70s thing, but let's face it, it's pretty close to Doctor Who at the best of times and was invented by, well, we all know about Doom Watch. So what do you do? You create countermeasures. You take the group of people who were in Remembrance of the Daleks fighting aliens, give them a hefty dote of British sci-fi, and then sit back and let it happen. Four brilliant standalone stories that, of course, are linked with a major story arc available in one box set and a disc full of extras. They are definitively 60s, so much so that you start thinking, I would have watched this if it was on. And you go, no, it wasn't even the 60s, it was 1989, but it wasn't. This is set, my God, this is good. The soundscape is fabulous. It's taken so many influences of the area. The Prisoner as well, how could I possibly have not mentioned The Prisoner? This is me after all. They're all heavily influencing this text, but as always, they've taken so many influences that they've made their own thing. Five, nine, five, seven, zero, nine, eight, two. Coming soon five, from Big Finish eight, Productions. Two, two, we all know what happened at Coal Hill. Zero, I put forward the recommendation for a special counterinsurgency group. Countermeasures. It's been a bit quiet. So Toby's got us rather marking time. Aha, my loyal team. You have me to track down some aliens. Gilmore, there's something behind that glass, breathing smoke. Someone or something is trying to contact us from whatever lies behind that threshold. Somebody stop it talking! So it is alien. Well, it looks that way. That door started swinging on its own. Who's up there? Rachel, this is poltergeist activity. Who are you? This is your last warning. It's in here with us right now. Behind you, Sarge. No! Get out! Up my mind! Up fire! Nine, five, seven, zero, nine. So this is new, and the first story deals with teleportation experiments carried out by an ex-Nazi. It's a sort of re-establishing of the group as well. 
It's got echoes of some of Neil's other work. The stone tapes with echoes in the wall. It's terribly atmospheric and exceptionally well written. They're all very, very well written. Yes, they will have had a shopping list of things to do. Reintroduce the characters, create atmosphere, get you from A to B so that you can get on with the rest of the story. There's a brand new character who works for the Ministry, Sir Toby. All particularly well done. But it's fabulous to see Chunky Gilmore, a man who is so definitely not the Brigadier, someone who won't always rely on violence. Like the Brigadier we had at the end of the run. Mellow and yet forceful. Terribly well done, terribly English, but it all works so well. And yes, he does have a broken Webley, but we won't go there. So many people did. Again, just like Unit, he has a small group, but it's set firmly in Britain. It's set firmly with a proper Prime Minister, with a proper timeline, using things which were spurious sci-fi. And yes, the thing in story two might be Wotan, but we'll get back to you on that one. It's just exquisite. So yes, welcome to Countermeasures, and I'll be talking about story two, three and four in the weeks to come. But just round the corner is new Doctor Who. Just round the corner, of course, is Hooverville. And just round the corner for me is the publication of Hoostrology. It's a wonderful time to be alive. Be seeing you. You've been listening to the Tin Dog Podcast. Doctor Who and its associated shows are copyright of the BBC. No infringement is intended. To contact the show, email tin-dog at hotmail.co.uk. To order or simply find out more about the book Hoostrology, the Time Traveller's Almanac, visit hoostrology.com. The Tin Dog Podcast is a founder member of the Doctor Who Podcast Alliance. I just want to say that Hooverville 4 is coming up on us very, very soon. September the 1st. There'll be a lot of podcasters there. Peter Purvis, Louise Jameson, and lots and lots of people who've been in Doctor Who. The atmosphere is wonderful. It's small, but perfectly formed as a convention. Type in Hooverville 4 into a search engine and see who's coming. And why don't you come too? And we'll see you there.